Yeah, go feel it. So what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to my boy Gadam Slink. How are you guys doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. Ramadan Kareem. To all my fellow Muslim brothers and sisters out there, you know it's crazy out here, guys. Most especially on social media. Most especially on Twitter X. Honestly, whenever I just log into that app, oh God, oh God, I keep saying, God, please, can you touch these women's heart? Let them know we are fasting. Please, 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 remove the temptation from my face. And may my face not see evil in Jesus' name. May my eyes not see evil. I cover my eyes. Maybe, oh yeah, okay, yeah. I know I'm fasting now, so I'm really careful with my words. But my eyes will not see evil. My eyes will not see evil. Like Twitter has, keep making me rethink if I am fasting or not. When I start screwing down the nasty big bomb, when I start screwing down the nasty massive bomb, what is this? And again, guess what? There is this uh, particular uh, famous... Um, a girl in the US, her name is Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose is being called out by the Muslim community because of her post. She posted this and said Ramadan Karim to Muslims. And for those of you who do not know Ruby Rose, of course, you can search, check who Ruby Rose is, and of course, check her video, then you will understand the kind of content she creates, the kind of content she posts out there to the world to see. Crazy content, guys, crazy content. I am not a fan of her, not at all. Not, not even now that I'm fasting. Because she made mention of Ramadan Kareem and that the Muslim body are quickly on her neck. They want her to apologize because you cannot, you cannot heartrightly disrespect the holy month of Ramadan. You are free to do whatever you want, but do not attach Ramadan into it. But for those of you who do not know Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose is from a Muslim background, from a Muslim family. But unfortunately, you know, you know, worldly things, worldly stuff will definitely uh, come over people's life. I hope God, uh, God also visit him, visit her one day. But it's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. She was formerly a Muslim. I don't know if she's still a Muslim. Obviously, she's not a Muslim. I don't think she's a Christian either. But I think she's either, let me say, a pagan. Yeah, a pagan or worship is something. Yes, yes, that's who they will still regard as pagan. Well, she needs to apologize. That is coming from the Muslim body. She's free to post whatever she wants to post to. But writing Ramadan Karim under the post, come on, man. You are inviting unnecessary attention to yourself. Inviting unnecessary attention to your God himself. So delete it. Delete it. Delete. Just click that delete button. Delete. 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 Delete it, Ruby Rose. Delete it. So guys, so check out this picture. It's quite unfortunate. A pastor, a Nigerian pastor in Port Harcourt recently handed a life of a rare bed, an owl. The owl apparently is what? 6,000 US dollars because it's rare. It's really, really rare. But this pastor decided to hang the beautiful life of this bird because he thought he has finally vanquished the devil's agent. <laughs> so according to how it was uh, reported, they said a pastor in Porter Court killed an owl and was giving glory to God that he has killed a principality and powers. Not realizing that what he just killed is worth over six thousand US dollar and is a rare species of the house species. He said 
quoted, the God of Zion has disgraced the wicked bear this morning in my church at the Mount Zion. He said, and I quote, the God of Zion has disgraced the wicked bear this morning in, the, in my church at the Mount Zion. Can you imagine? A 6,000 US dollar bed, a really, really rare bed, a rare bed, and how? That is almost, that is almost, almost impossible to see. This pastor just caputed it because he thought he has finally vanquished an agent of the devil in his church. Come on, man. Do your church have windows? As you can see, the church behind us, the all-completed building behind us there, you can see there are no windows there. It's an all-completed church. No windows, nothing, nothing. Of course, there are a few windows, but I am sure there are no, there's somewhere that there, there's no window. All completed building. And you just kill all the out, thinking it's an agent of the devil. <laughs> when you convert that 6,000 US dollar to Nigeria currency, I think that will give you approximately more than eight million naira or let me say close to eight million naira or more than eight million naira at least at least well it's impossible to advise these pastors it's impossible to tell them you are doing the wrong thing because what is an owl doing there any bear that looks like how signifies evil evil when it comes to the nigeria africa society we do not know why there are just some animals who look really, really awkward because of their looks. Huh? We will generally automatically tag them as evil because of their looks. Because of their looks, we generally, we generally automatically tag them as evil because of their looks. Come on, man. It might just simply be a bear. Who is on trying to get to its next gen, uh, next de destination? It might be that that has been is being the best home. That particular spot has been their home for centuries. Family uh, passing the passing the trace to the next bed, to the next one, to the next one. After all, these animals were here before us. We are just taking over their land. We are taking over their space. We are taking over their space and we are taking over everything from them. Where do we want them to go? Very, very soon, human beings will take over the head, like building every land on this heart. Very soon. Where do we want the birds to go? Where do we want the hands? Where do we want the cats to go? Cats also are also regarded as evil. Where do we want the cats to go? Thank God for, for our logo as country, Super Eagle. <laughs> if not, any eagle will be shut down. <laughs> yeah, any eagle will be shut down. Thank God for our Nigerian logo, Super Eagle. That is why eagles are free. But the bats are not free. The bats are not free. Where do we want them to go? They were original habitants of all those places. But you guys are building, 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 building. Currently in my house, I see a lot of beds. I see a lot of beds, those doors, laying eggs around my house. And, and, and as long as they don't come inside, I am not mad about it because this, is, this was their home. This was their home. This is where they, they stayed. And now I just came up here and built this house on this land and just, just take their home away from them and taking over their space. 
because as a human being we are superior all those animals will judge us one day all those animals will judge us one day